Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another section 7 build. Um, today, a little bit of disclaimer, I'm sick. Yeah, I am. I uh, have been struck by the, the COVID and uh, sadly it's uh, going to be taking a time since I can start working again and stuff like that. So I'm in quarantine. Uh, but that doesn't mean I can have some fun and do some stuff around here, so still doing a voiceover. I might sound a little bit weird and different than normally. Um, so yeah guys, this is it. Second video, we are building the enclosures of the first animals in the park, the first flying reptiles. And as you can see, I'm working on the main road a little bit because section 7 is like on the other side of the island compared to the main innovation center and uh, the main road and stuff. So the idea was of making a little bit of a main road where it has sections splitting off towards different animals like the dinosaur itself, flying reptiles, marine reptiles and such. So I've been working on this uh, bit like the buildings Making a little bit of entertainment around here and stuff. As you can see, it's not that much interesting. It's, uh... Well, I, I do like to have this a little bit more. So, while we are waiting to go towards the first uh, flying reptile habitat, or enclosure, the aviary, um, so the thing is that we are going to update this later on because we have the announcement of the next free update on the March, the 8th of March, I have to say it like that. And uh, really excited about the new decorations I can use for the main road and the area, especially the flags with the flying reptiles on it, like Pteranodon. And uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. I'm also gonna change some more things like we have seen in the previous video, I used the Jurassic Park entrance gate for uh, like a little bit of a monument. I'm gonna replace this one because we're getting the Jurassic World version of it as well. So that is exciting. Uh, we get some skeletons like the Spinosaurus and uh, yeah, everything else like fountains I know, but everything else we have to wait till we have the update. Uh, with the update as well we get a DLC and the DLC will also have animals I will edit inside this section of the park. Um, if you are familiar with my previous builds in the first game I had like Oranosaurus, like the Chunky Boy and we had Proceratosaurus instead of Monolophosaurus. It's one of the names I keep saying wrong <laughs> when I first try it. Um, so I was thinking of maybe adding those animals in this section and uh, I'm also really thinking about doing a main build that is going to be uh, I'm using the, the first game to get into how I designed like section 5 and 6 and I will try and rebuild it in the maps we have in Jurassic World Evolution 2 so that's gonna be a thing. Um, as you can see here, we're gonna move on towards the aviary, so um, maybe a little bit of reoccurring information from previous videos. The animals that are gonna be part in of this section are maize, mo oh, I'm sorry if about that, that's kind of like being a little bit of sick and just thinking differently. I'm a bit tired because of that, but that's not an excuse to make a good video, right? But yeah, as you can see, aviary, um, all the dinosaurs, all the reptiles, we are going to get into this section are dinosaurs that are new to the game. Uh, we haven't done in Jurassic World uh, so far in the parks, in our little story franchise. And um, the thing was, I wanted to do an aviary section first. Uh, that's what you can see here. This is the start of it getting from the roundabouts of the, the circular area towards this area a little bit of a backside entrance there and um, I wanted to do and start with Pteranodon itself and the thing is the Pteranodons we didn't have the, the originally Jurassic World Pteranodons in the first game 
So what I decided to do is like pretending we had them already near the Cretaceous Cruise, the, the big aviary of course. And uh, we're going to do some of the newer variations of Pteranodon here. And uh, these are going to be like the Jurassic World version, different colors than the red ones we are familiar with. And not just those, I wanted to also get the 2001 versions of Pteranodon, the big ones of Sorna we've seen in Jurassic Park 3. A little bit of story behind it is these Pteranodons were, uh, these escaped, they escaped from Sorna at the end of the movie and they have been recaptured by, uh, I, th I thought his name was Vic. Like the dude that wanted to use the raptors in Jurassic World for like military stuff. And so they are still there. And this is the first time they are being brought into the park. So we got the, the older uh, Pteranodons, the newer Pteranodons together. And we ha kind of have like a specific place where guests can view both next to each other. And see some variations. That's a really cool idea. Uh, yeah, p path working is something I uh, I start to enjoy. It's not always easy to do it. As you can see, sometimes it just split off a little bit too far over the uh, the other side, the other part of the map, or the mapping of the roads. That's how I wanted to say it. Um, so I just lay out a long and a wide path. That's gonna be the main area, like the main road people gonna walk on. And I, uh, I kept the spaces open in the middle to be filled in later with like planets and stuff. And uh, that's basically how I want to start. So we're gonna make the habitat over here. I'm gonna be uh, shut up for a second so you guys can enjoy it. And I will be back later when we have seen this build being finished. So. Enjoy the video and I'll be back in a second.
So uh, after finishing this, I was deciding like, you know what a cool idea is to get people closer to the Pteranodons itself. So um, it reminded me that we have the ability to get the two trucks into the aviaries. I totally forgot about it. And so I'm making this uh, this tour, this driving tour. I couldn't go for the, the safari truck, but um, I was thinking like, what is more secure, right? I don't think it's really secure that Tyrannons can sit on the truck and pack at our visitors, our guests. So I decided to go for the original Jurassic Park ride, the, the touring ride, just make it through the, uh, the enclosure. And while working on this, um, I really enjoy that this is like, it looks so good. Like it really looks like an attraction, like a, or like a real park. I had to do, redo a little bit of the, the area inside of the aviary, as you can see here, but that's just a small adjust adjustment. So, uh, no, I was thinking like, it would be cool if we just move it through the aviary and it gets out and goes into the next one. So I'm planning, already planned a couple of things that um, it's going through a, like a longer corridor where the Morphodon might be for example so it's gonna be like a ride as well for people it takes a longer it's a longer ride for the guests but it's really would be really awesome to see it happening uh, I adjusted here as you can see I'm, I'm watching this live while I talk about this because it's I mean it's in my head I don't I'm recording it I'm not talking about it when I'm on the PlayStation but I I hate it that the tours um, just get out of one they start on one side of the attraction building so i have to turn the building around start over that's kind of one of the most annoying things i have about the the, the trucks and the safari rides and stuff so yeah i had to redo it a little bit i wish we could just select which side it was going that would be amazing but maybe in the future maybe you know we have to wait for that. So yeah, it's gonna be like a long ride through the enclosure. I like that the queuing and stuff, like in Jurassic World in the movie for the for the gyrospheres and stuff, you can see them. I'm pointing my hands everywhere when I talk, by the way. I just noticed myself just drawing with my finger in the air while well, you guys cannot see anything, but just know you see what I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing with my finger. Uh, <laughs> does anybody else do does this? I mean Maybe it's just a me thing. But yeah, we just fill everything up and uh, complete the build. Uh, adding some extra stores and some stuff near the, the main parkway. And it's basically gonna be finished then. So if you like this video, leave a like. And if you haven't done it, you can subscribe to my channel for the next upcoming videos and more content towards Jurassic World Evolution 2. As well as Planet Zoo. I'm working on Planet Zoo again. It's going to be taking a while, but it will be there. And for now, I want to thank you all and stick around for the rest of the video. And I will see you next time. Take care.